Hi Gemini, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Gemini, let's see what are the messages here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Gemini Spirit. Gemini. Alright, Gemini, Ace of Cups, Three of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Okay, second person, Two of Wands. Seven of Cups in reverse and the Death card in reverse, okay? Mutual Energies, King of Wands, Four of Cups and the World card. Bottom of my deck, Two of Cups. Somebody feels if I found their Two of Cups and their love was not uh, reciprocated. They felt that their love, love was uh, not accepted or it wasn't reciprocated. Maybe they feel that their person treated them like a friend or friends with benefits. It's like, yeah, you know, they didn't love me at all. Maybe it's time for me to move on, give my heart to somebody else or find new love. The other person, I think now they are at crossroads or they are thinking or they're thinking about their future it's like yeah you know what i didn't make make up my mind then but i am making it now i realize that this is the cup i want this is my soulmate they're hoping that this connection isn't still like is it isn't over uh, so let's see what's going to happen then i'm going to clarify all these cards and do your mutual energies gemini but first let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then we'll clarify these gemini and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be all right let's take a few more from another deck gemini and their person spirit gemini and their person if they could say something to each other now what would that be gemini and their person spirit Gemini and their person. All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And Gemini, uh, my email is, if you want, if any of you looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, my love for you never goes away. The feelings got too intense for me, so it scared me off. The way I felt about you really had me confused. But now they're out of their confusion. If this person was standing at crossroads or not being able to make a decision, which which you know direction they wanted to go, if they were confused, they are out of their confusion. But maybe at that time they were confused, which made the other person feel they, they don't love me. I had to move on because I wasn't ready for a committed relationship. I'm not worth your tears. I listened to the wrong people. They were wrong about you. I struggle with love and expressing it. It just does not come easy to me. You talk about me, you, sorry, you talk with me about our future and building our life together. However, when your intentions don't align with your actions, I feel I can't trust you. To rebuild a solid, stable foundation, integrity and consistency are essential for me to feel safe in a connection. You changed. You were keeping secrets from me. One minute we were talking like best friends and then you distanced yourself from me. Every time it happened again, we grew further and further apart. I miss the old us. It drives me crazy how you manage to read my mind and hijack my thoughts. How do you know everything? I can't hide anything from you. I never truly moved on, even though I appear so. I ho hope you allow me to step up and turn this around. All right, so these were some of your messages, Gemini. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading. But before that, an angel blessing card for the viewer. Now, this could be you, Gemini, watching. Could be your cross-watcher. So, a blessing, guidance, advice 
or a message for the person watching the reading spirit peaceful somebody wants to bring back the peace in this connection i guess or maybe the universe is sending you peace and happiness in your life take it as a blessing from the universe gemini spirit tell me now what's happening in this connection let's start with the first person's energy who I'm, i'll be calling person a second line is person b for me you could be either one of them gemini so the first person says ace of cups in reverse why is that why is your ace of cups in reverse yeah person a says i really thought this was going to be my soulmate and they would come back and offer me their cup of love but i was not emotionally happy in this connection omkara taro i gave them my love and they never reciprocated it i really really thought this was my soulmate and you know we could have a reconciliation or they would come back but you know what uh, they treated me like an option they treated me like a third party they treated me like a friend friend or friends with benefits they made me feel i was not good enough they left me out in the cold and i'm not going to allow anyone to make me feel like that i'm headed off to a brand new beginning for myself i'm going to take a leap of faith towards a new person now because they never made that choice I'll make it for myself now. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Yeah, person A is kind of giving up hope now. It's like you know what? Uh, oh, I have a beeper here. Anyways, doesn't matter. Okay, so person A says no. I don't want to give this a second chance anymore. I'm done here. I, I'm moving on towards somebody new. I'm not going to chase anyone from my past anymore. I know my worth. I know my value. I realize that maybe they were not my equal, or they were just being stubborn or egoistic or pretending to be somebody that they were not. So person A is kind of uh, writing this connection off, or that this person to say they were never my true partner. So person B, what about you? How are you feeling now? Two of Wands. What's the two of wands for you? Oh yes, this person never made up their mind. They never made up their mind, but now it's like they realizing because of their inability to make that choice, they created a tower in this connection. Now they're very frustrated, very upset, very angry because uh, they've realized that their selfish behavior of the past has caused this connection to break up. they've also realized that they don't want any other cup this is their soulmate this is the one that they want i think they're still hoping that this connection is an over yeah this person uh, lied and cheated or ghosted or ran away or didn't make a decision in the past this person had love in their heart uh, gemini but they were hiding it they never wanted to express it maybe because they felt that if i open up i'll have to offer some kind of commitment they would have to make a choice and they were not in that place they they were still trying to figure their themselves out and now they realize oh my god i've been dropped but now the point is they've recognized that this is the soul bait i want this is the person i want death card in reverse death card yeah again see they they now know that this is the, the only cup i want i don't want anybody else i don't want any other cup this was meant for me this is my true soul mate This is the person I envision having a long-lasting connection with. This is my partner for a lifetime. They want to start a brand, a brand new chapter, or at least hoping that they can still have this passionate brand new beginning with their person. But they're not sure whether their offer will be even accepted now. This person in the past, I think, was sitting in their ego, in their pride, and could have behaved like a player. And maybe some secrets about them came out. Now they're realizing that. the other person doesn't see them as a partner anymore they've been let go off and it's making them feel very insecure somewhere they feel it will be difficult now to get a re reconciliation with their person now and it, they are very frustrated very very frustrated they feel that the other person is now holding back from them is very guarded from them now it's like if i if i have to go back now i'll have to go back with some kind of an apology explanation they do want to settle the conflict that's happened between the two of you because they are hoping that this connection has still some life left in it i think they've now recognized that this is the person this is my soulmate so let's see what's going to happen for the first person spirit the person who has kind of given up 
and saying you know what um, there is no love left here i'm moving on to a new person what do these three cards mean for that person uh, king of wands i think person a did find person b very attractive they did see they were hoping that the other person would take action towards them because they thought that you know this is a perfect pair this is my soul mate this is my king of wands to the queen of wands i mean what can get better i mean you know this is like perfect but they were left wanting they never got that offer from the other person they felt that i was just fooling myself i never got that offer here i was thinking that we are soul mates we are perfect together but i never got that offer uh, so uh, i think they are now uh, getting their own self confidence back and saying you know what i deserve somebody who chooses me i deserve somebody who knows my value and worth i'm not going to chase them anymore in fact i'm going to close this chapter down it's so clear that they don't love me if they did they would have you know made an effort or taken action towards me so a person b could be feeling yeah maybe this was a karmic soulmate or this was just a toxic connection a very imbalanced connection i deserve much more than that i deserve something much more you know uh, settled or focused or somebody who sees my value and worth okay so person b what about you what do these three cards mean for you now they want to take action <laughs> this person that does want to take action king of wands they want to take action they want to end the stagnancy that has come into this connection but because they don't know whether their offer will even be accepted or not this person is spying at the moment they are trying to figure out they are trying to maybe figure out if the other person is already in another commitment elsewhere or if they are not then will they be open to you know these talking to them now uh, will they choose me now what should i do they're very burdened very overwhelmed because they are not sure whether their manifestations are going to even happen uh, they don't know whether the chapter is completely done or is it possible to have another round uh, world card yeah they want to talk this person that definitely wants to talk and clear the air but um, i they are not sure how it's going to end up it's like will it be a complete ending or can i talk to them and is there a possibility of a return I think they are ready now for a long term partnership and commitment so they have had their time maybe they retreated they thought about it and they realized that being away from their person was not what was making them happy I think they are just wishing and praying that the other person is still single they haven't moved on and there is still a possibility of this connection happening uh, I think they've now figured out that this is my soulmate in the past i think this person was treating it like just a you know player kind of energy a friend or a friends with benefits but now they've recognized this connection uh, two of cups two of cups yep they want a, they want a partnership now this person wants a partnership they want an equal give and take uh, they have made up their mind if this person was standing at crossroads they have now made up their mind that i do want this uh, connection but now they are they are sitting very depressed they are not sure whether their uh, offer will be accepted they feel that person is never going to trust them again it's like what if they've cut me out of their life what if they never trust me again it's like they need a lot of courage now to even send that first message the feeling the feeling very scattered at this time but they have made up their mind but i'm in love with them i want to transform this connection but whether they still have the power now they're not sure somewhere they are scared that now to regain the trust of their person will be a task yep sleepless nights stress tension overthinking nightmares maybe feeling that that person has maybe already moved on So that's what I have for you gems till next time then love and light take care namaste